Hello everyone, and welcome to Spirit Hunter Deathmark. One of you cool people suggested this game to me, so thanks for the recommendation for a creepy ass game. I'm already kind of spooked, but I'm an easily spooked person. Hey, wanna hit up the karaoke place? The new Love in Hero song is out. Hmm. I'm not feeling up to it today. This story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? Oh, sure. Really? Someone's like, you want to hear some creepy ass shit? <laughs> She's like, yeah. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she is? Nope, she just disappeared. Just up and poof from the library. Well, how spooky. One of the student librarians said she was researching something there. But then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was weird that she up and leave like that. So he checked in on her. But when he did... Oh, wow. All that was left was an arm. The only thing left was her arm. It had her really weird scar on it, so it was definitely her arm. A scar? Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. Wow, that's an intense dog bite if it left a scar. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. Okay, an unknown scar. For real? There was a scar like that on Miki's leg too. It was a ghost dog. Huh? Miki? Wait, that's... The girl who went missing. Yeah. Wow, you get bitten by the ghost dog, you disappear. That's crazy! Maybe that rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar? Cut it out, you're scaring me! It's like one of the seven mysteries of the school. Hey, you got a weird thing on your arm? Is that a scar? I hear snatches of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but it's obvious they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. I mean, they're just high schoolers. Let them have their gossip. Rumors are the best way to do that. The sun's about to set. It's gotten later than I planned. I shouldn't have stuck around to hear that story. Oh, you're curious in the high school gossip as well? I better hurry. What's this? Thunder rumbles in the distance. I guess this is the spirit hunter. Great, a creepy mansion to start everything off. A huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Ugh, my head's sw swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. What time is it? I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Did I put it in my coat pocket? Or did someone steal it? Perhaps a ghost did. But all I find is a business card. In elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Kujo, Spirit Healer. On the back is a photo of the mansion. On the business card? That's weird. I guess this must be Kujo Mansion then. Kujo Mansion. Saya Kujo. Those names sound familiar somehow. One way to find out. Taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. That weird tattoo thing? That does look like a bite. It doesn't really look like a scar though, it looks more like a tattoo. But I guess it's a scar. It's a strange scar. When did that... I could just be imagining this, but... I feel an icy chill when I look at it. 
measured next to die. Loud knock. Don't they have doorbells? My fist pounds on the door. No reply. A light appears in a second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. I grasp the door knob and find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in. I'll apologize to the owner later. Yeah, you're braver than me. I wouldn't go to a creepy ass house that's not locked and someone was staring at me from the window. The inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent, except for the constant ticking of a clock second hand. I must be in the entrance hall. The atrium extends to the second floor. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout while you were shouting. Anyone home? Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can't hear me down here. I guess I need to go upstairs then. A staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk towards it, cutting across the hall. What time period is this? Don't you have like a phone at least to use as a flashlight if you don't have a flashlight? My ears catch a strange noise. I turn to look where it's coming from. And it's a ghost. Someone's there, enveloped by the dark. It's either a creepy person or it's a doll. I think they're staring at me. Gross. <laughs> is there a way to save in this game? Options? No, that's just a log. Well, I don't really want to approach you, but can't just ignore them. So let's talk to them. Hello? I call out, but the person remains silent, of course, so I have to approach them. Gulping, I hesitantly make my way over, trepidation slowing my steps. That's definitely gotta be a doll. It's a young girl. You sure? You may want to check, but also don't want to be any closer. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least it seems that way to me. It doesn't look like she's even breathing. And then she opens her eyes. A corpse. You sure? <laughs> Great. I creep myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? Well, you know, you never get anywhere without being a little bold, you know? So let's touch her, I guess. With a shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. It's gotta be a doll, right? I'm not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold. Well, I hope this isn't a corpse. What was that? I press down on her arm and she makes the strange sound I heard earlier. Kinda creepy ass doll. Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. Well, the lifelikeness is way too creepy. Adults joints creak when they're moved. Why? That's what made the noise. Later, I'm gonna be hearing this creaking when I'm running for my life. What a relief, if disappointing. I don't know about disappointing. I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. As I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. Looking up, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Wow, there's always the option to approach or ignore it. Wait, wait for what? I'm gonna approach it. I don't wait or ignore stuff. The noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach toward the glass to check inside. Is it a cuckoo clock? All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends, broken only by ticking. I'm just like preparing for a jump scare the whole time. I don't know what's happening. I guess it's fixed now, but... The timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? Is there a ghost in every object in this house? All these strange occurrences make me uneasy, but I continue onto the room with a light. There's actually a room with a light? Why don't you have a light? Stopping in front of the door, I knock. But again, there's no reply. Knock, knock, knock. I try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. 
I push on the door. Creepiness just increases for every step I take further into the house. Is that a corpse? I feel like I see something, but I can't quite see it. It's dark inside. Strange. I definitely saw lights on in here when I was outside. Waving through the room is an odd smell. Mmm. Corpse, corpsey smell? Oh. It's sugary, like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. You sure it's not a corpse smell? Like, you know, the smell of rotting flesh or something? The aroma draws me further into the room. The floor under my feet feels off. Great. The corpse is all over the floor. It's wet. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with a sweet smell. Yeah? What's the smell? Uh-huh, am I right? I know the scent. This metallic tang. Okay, I don't know what I just saw, but gross. Lightning flashes and I catch a glimpse of something. The startling grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is there. Okay, as long as it's dead, I'm cool. Stare at it or look away. I don't want to look away, but I also don't want to stare at it. Which means I gotta stare at it. Because you look away, you're probably gonna die. Oh. Okay, that was definitely a corpse with something. Something sticking out of it. It's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. I wonder if looking at gross shit is gonna mess with my brain or something. Okay, some kind of fun fungus or something. Blooming flowers are everywhere. Great. I hate it. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach, her blood-soaked body overwhelmed with them. I winch my gaze away, horrified. But the hellish image is burned into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bio rises. I'm going to throw up. Maybe not on the body though? In case we need to inspect it, you know? Oh, gross. It's the doll, isn't it? Please do not come towards me. Uh-oh. Body gone. But blood's still there. In the next instant, the lights are on. Oh god, what if the corpse came alive? Wait, that's not all. The body is gone, leaving only a stain. Great, I hate it. I hate every part of this. This doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream. At least, I really much prefer if it was. But the blood? But the faint smell that remains and the blood stain crush any hope I had of that. Maybe we should leave, you know, just because. I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape this whole bizarre situation. And then the corpses are waiting me outside, waiting for me outside. Oh, at least the house is, uh, you know, lights are on now. When I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on in here as well. Well, at least if anything creepy happens, I can see. I decide to have another look around. Really? After all that stuff you saw? All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old-fashioned mansion. Oh god, the doll's here again. Uh, oh god, eyes open. Eyes open. A large doll sits on a couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. Can we? Can we? Get away. I just, I don't know why, but dolls are just so freaky. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. I hate it. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. Why would you have this here? Creep. So what do I do now? Contact the police? Her stomach was full of flowers, sir, and the corpse up and vanished like fog. Like anyone would believe that. Yokoso. That was so wrong. <laughs> welcome to Kujo Mansion. Is that the doll? Please don't welcome me all of a sudden. Oh god, their eyes are blinking. You friendly or not? The doll moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one when I found the corpse. Wait, was the corpse the owner? Up until this point, I was nothing more than an observer to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now? A doll is talking to me! Well, I mean, it's not too out of the question, but it's just creepy. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. Okay, at least it's a friendly doll, I hope. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. Okay, why? What, what do you mean by normal doll and stuff? The words are elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, 
But she clearly isn't. Well, at least she's not trying to kill me. At least right now. She slowly folds her hands together. So she can move too. I am sorry for not introducing myself. Were you sleeping? Were you in sleep mode? I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. Oh, so that's not weird to see flowers blooming out of a corpse? I see... I see? My master Saya Kujo was unable to escape from the mark then. Oh, so that was her then. How do you know? Saya Kujo, does she mean a corpse? Um, your corpse, or your master's corpse just up and walked away, so a little concerning. But wait, what's this about a mark? Lady Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. Oh, what's that? Uh, that's what's on my wrist, the mark. Were you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm? What's on my wrist, technically? But yes. She must be talking about this weird scar. Did Saya Kujo invite me to this mansion? When I try to remember, my head hurts. I have something to tell you in place of my late master. But I would like to ask one thing first. I really hope you're a friendly that's gonna help me with this stuff. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in danger. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I had been expecting. It's... It's... I don't know. <laughs> I break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. Does the mark make you forget? Why... Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It is also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. I guess. She's probably right. Better to have some placeholder name than continue life as a hollow nameless being. Will you... Got calm real fast. That's the protagonist's last thing up to 10 letters. Oh, I'm glad you already have a default name, so I want to come up with something of my own. Yashki. Okay, let's confirm. Yeah, it's fine. Yashiki. Oh. Kazuo. Is that your real, real name? It would be funny if later you find out your, your actual name and it's literally what you should, what you named. Unless it's... Oh, you could... You could... <laughs> you could... Decide their appearance? I thought everything was set. This is so funny. Glasses and beard. Beard, glasses, or none. Let's go with both the glasses and beard, I suppose. I don't know if it'll change anything, but I guess that's kind of interesting to have a somewhat custom appearance. I'm Kazuo Yashiki. Understood, Lord Yashiki. Well, you don't have to call me Lord, but thanks. Now I shall explain to you about the mark. It is the seal of death. Those who have it will soon die. But like how soon though? Can I have a timeline? You do not believe me? I am certain this sounds absurd to one who has led an uneventful life. How do you know that? However, my master's death proves it to be irrefutably true. Am I gonna die like that though? The corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. Was it sweet because of the flowers blooming from it? That didn't seem like the work of humans. The work of what then? I am afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. So that's why I really don't remember anything. They face death all the while, all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss? That can't be. That means that I'm... Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Yashiki, you... Yeah? Well, die this very dawn. Frightened by the realization of inescapable death. <laughs> die today, though? That seems really fast. I was I was expecting, you know, a little bit more time than that. Just a smidge. My memory skipped forward a bit after that. I just remember, being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. 
I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. The next thing I know. Yes, oh, everything's gone. You cleaned up the blood real fast. I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point. And thanks to that, I feel a lot better. Maybe this is another room, hopefully? Where the body wasn't? I'll die at dawn, huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. Way out of the blue. But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. Does she know all? She's just here the whole time. I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a dog gets bored waiting like humans do. Well, she could get bored. Good morning, Lord Yashiki. Are you feeling better now? Well, I guess, I suppose. Wonderful. Since it appears that you have calmed down, I would like to ask a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Well, given the options of fight, I suppose I must fight. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Well then why didn't she escape it? Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So you don't know, huh? So she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Would that you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? Can I just be like, I give up? <laughs> I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's right about all this, my time on earth is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then there's no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when morning comes. I mean, technically, I guess if she's lying, you have nothing to lose. But am I really all right with that? People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? I mean, it's not like you're a detective or anything, right? Technically, none of your business. This is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. Do you though? I mean, it's your life or death. Live or die. Can I choose death? That would be a hilarious first choice. Deadly choice! You will be faced with choices that can result in death. There is limited time and your soul power will continue to drain. Time's up or wrong answers will result in game over. So be quick, but also careful in finding the right answer. Can I save first? Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Okay. Acceler accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing L1, but certain dialogue cannot be sped up. What does that mean? Backlog? Oh, it's just explaining the game basically. Okay, display previous dialogue. But how do I save? Auto mode. Hiding the dollop window, okay. But how do I save? How do I save my life and my game file, literally? Then I shall ask you. Will you quietly wait for death? Or struggle against the mark? God, I really want to choose death just to see what happens. Wait or struggle? Soul power. Oh god, what's happening? Okay, guys. I hate that it doesn't let me save for it. I really want to see what happens if I pick this, so... I'm gonna do this and then, I guess, if I die, I'll just have to replay the first part again. Oh, your soul power also runs out though. I thought it was just a timer. Wrong! That's so funny. <laughs> wrong! You're wrong! Now you're gonna die! Then you meekly accept your death by the mark? Huh? Accept death? Yeah, I'll accept death. Or, you know, just let my power drain, I guess. Wrong? I love how it tells you that you're wrong. You don't have a choice in this, you're wrong! Is that so? Then please rest here in the mansion until dawn. What's gonna happen when I die? Good night. Yeah, good night. Forever! It's just game over. Damn, I really wanted to see my death. 
Oh, at least it lets you decide from here. Maybe this game just auto-saves? Damn. That's gonna be really inconvenient. Alright guys, I guess we can't die yet. Let's actually not die. Oh. Can I... Can I okay, no. Uh, how do you skip all this? Skip. Okay, this time we're actually not gonna wait for death and hopefully, uh, you know, not let my soul power run out. Safe. <laughs> that is so funny. This game is hilarious. Survive! Oh my god, just by fighting, I have lived to see another day. Frightened by the choice of advancing death, deadly choice. I've decided to trust you. I love how they give you like another chance to be like, are you sure you want to die? As you say, Lord Yashiki, then I shall carry out the dying wish of a master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. Can I have a soda? You know, choosing to live was so exhausting. I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about the supernatural, and losing my memory makes research impossible. Well, not impossible, but a little difficult, I suppose. But I don't have a moment to lose. Oh god, who's knocking now? A knock comes from the front door. Who come here this late at night? Oh god, it's the ghost come to kill me! Oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that other mark bearers have arrived. Oh, so another party again, huh? People come here to witness a murder and then I guess live or die. It's an instinct that she knows these things. Maybe she has cameras everywhere. Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power being a talking doll and all. I beg your pardon, Lord Yashiki. I do apologize, but could you go greet our guests in my stead? Can you not walk? Or certainly say that you can move? They may experience a shock if a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. Why? What them legs for then? I moved to the front door to greet our guests. People fated to die, like me. I wonder what they're like. Who I find at the door are not who I expect to see out this late at night. Wow, hello? A high schooler? Are we gonna help each other? And a small boy. These kids have the mark. No way. They're wearing very nice uniforms. Um, we came to see Professor Kujo. Who are you? I can't say I'm a total stranger since I am here in the mansion, but I am a total stranger. Um, well, this is uh, this is lying a little bit too much, and this like I don't know how to solve these ghostly things. So maybe a relative works. Let's say that. Oh, so you're her older brother. Your eyes do look kind of similar. What? How do you know what she looks like? She seems to know Saya Kujo. Now that I think about it, that business card did say spirit healer. What if I am her older brother? Oh my god. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. Um, Moye Watanabe. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in OOP Arts Monthly. She pulls an occult magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. So do you have the mark? The accompanying article says the scar is A soul inhibiting disease that erases memories. Inquire at Kujo Mansion. Um, this is the same scar, right? You saw a scar in a magazine, you're like, I gotta go there. Moya lifts, up, lifts her skirt up a bit to show me her leg. Right there on her right thigh is the mark. They just appear in the weirdest places, don't they? I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friends' names. That's never happened to me before. Do you think this scar is doing it? That article is obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. Are you her younger brother? Or are you just some other rando? Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days, and yet you're here. And a high schooler fell for it. You must feel embarrassed about that. But Tsukasa, were you hanging around out in front of the mansion's gate? Fess up! Your scar scares you. Tsukasa seems to have no retort to that. He silently sulks. Are you just friends? Or are you related? Looks like a bullseye. It's clear they're both mark bearers. I better bring them over to meet Mary. 
Moya shrieks excitedly when she gets close. Okay, somebody's a little too excited about seeing a doll. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen one this big before. Maybe don't comment on her build while she's right in front of you? The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. Uh, yeah, about that? They're both admiring her when... Yokoso. <laughs> Yokoso. Welcome to Kujo Mansion. Oh god. <laughs> what? It, it spoke! With that, the two new visitors join our number. They enter this monstrous world that hovers on the precipice of death. Mary tells Moa and Sugasa about the mark once they regain their composure. All about the steady memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from someone like her. Why? Why validity from her? Both of their faces pale. Now, if you came specifically here because you believe Lady Saya's article, you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. Moe admitted as much earlier, but I can see Sugasa's face darken. So it must be happening to him too. Hey, Moe, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? I don't think she remembers. My amnesia seems to be worse than theirs. So they might remember. I'm not positive, but... I think my mark might be a curse from Hanahiko. Who's that, your friend? Hanahiko? Who are these names? Stop name dropping. This name is familiar to me. He is the ghost the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? Oh, dear. My master was interested in him. So Saya Kujo was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Yashiki. Then I shall tell you the rumors of Hanaiko. Great. Hearing ghastly stories before anything even happens. Oh, cr creepy. Love it. Oh, did you hear? About that ghost boy all the schools in H City are talking about? Sounds like Hanahiko is back. I heard that he can appear if you peek in a school mirror at night. All these creepy school legends, man. He'll ask you something. Am I pretty? If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes, give me that red stuff then. What is the red stuff? <laughs> and then he just disappears. Ugh, creepy! But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know? I heard that if the person he asks is an adult, they'll die. And not just drop dead. Their blood is drained from them. Oh, he loves that red stuff, doesn't he? And next to the corpse is a single rose. Well, that's also that red stuff. <laughs> A rose dripping with blood. It's so creepy. Is that the legend? Pretty short legend. Rumors can be easily manipulated. Passing from one person to another, assumptions and errors mix in. But they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moya, do you know anything else? I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanahiko at H Elementary School. There was some kind of like ghost supernatural journalist investigator. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Well, was there... Let's ask was Hanahiko there. I don't think so. But I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror, but a shiver suddenly ran down my spine. I got spooked and left. What should I ask next? Oh, so I gotta ask all of it? Okay, cool. Didn't know that. Why were you at H Elementary? My big dream is to write about that occult, so I, I love to see a ghost. I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school. Why? Oh, I see. Oh, that's why it's creepy. Creep town there. Creep zone. Since it's been closed down. When did you notice the mark? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. 
It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Kujo wrote about. I think I have a handle on what happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost. But there's no denying she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. That may be. Sagasa, Sagasa glasses down at his left hand. Did you also go ghost investigating? Mine might be from Hanahiko too. Notice that after I got home from T Elementary, I love how they named the schools. They're just like, we don't care about the name of the schools. Let's just give it a letter. The ghost was seen at a lot of schools in H City, right? Maybe he's remembered something. Better ask him some questions too. I go to school there. So you guys go to different schools. How do you know each other then? Or well, not um. Moya doesn't. She didn't say which school she goes to. So maybe you guys go to the same school. You've probably heard of it since it's the top rank elementary in H City. Okay, jeez, you're just in elementary school. Can you calm down? When was that? Maybe around sunset. I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. Somebody take these kids home, please. They're just walking out by, their, by themselves. Did you see Hanahiko? No, and I didn't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed a mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. Never go to the bathroom at school, apparently. I don't think he knows anymore. Their stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumors. It can't be just a coincidence. You must investigate the places where Hanahiko appeared. For their sake, as well as yours. So do you need to know where you got the mark in, in, in order to get rid of the mark? That's gonna be bad since I don't know where I got mine. Uh, that's all well and good, but... What exactly am I investigating? Death and life coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. Yeah, my burden plus their burden. It seems that Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate? So they go between mirrors, yeah? Well, since the story is like pretty similar anyway, let's just go to any random school. You probably have to go to the other one anyway. Yeah, that's probably wise. They arrest you on the spot if you try to sneak into a regular school. You make a great point, I did not think about that. A middle-aged man who can't recall his name, let alone address or job title? I have no excuse if I got caught. Wanna get going then? Let's do this. Wait, you're coming too? Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. Even though you, you might die? Brave girl. She grins at me. Is she really strong? Or is this blind optimism? Well, we can use either of those, I suppose. I'm going too. Hey, not you too, seriously? My life's on the line here. I don't want the reason I died to be because you messed something up. That's pretty bold. Good thing you're cute, okay? It's like, ugh, kids, you're lucky you're cute. But to bring kids along with me is... Dangerous? Or weird, probably, unless I'm, I'm like, I'm their relative again? I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate. Stealing lives of children and adults. If they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. I'm just curious, where are their parents? God, somebody look after their kids, please. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for the worst if we're going to survive. Please take only one mark bearer with you, however. Hmm? Why? So you really do just get like one person to help you with the like investigation, I guess. Our large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. I also ask that you not waste time dawdling with others on the way. It is possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. That's a lot of rules. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Have a safe trip. Thanks. I guess you're not helping me. I do wonder why you're just sitting here all the time. So that's like a partner, but what- do they have skills? That's gotta be a thing why I would choose like one over the other, right? Do this in the partner menu. Oh yeah. Hey, mister. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? I can't take notes too. This is like an investigation game plus uh, like a supernatural fighting game. Your memory's getting worse all the time. We don't want to forget anything. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. 
I'll write down all the information I get and keep it in my file. I love it. It's like you're a detective and you're also like fighting ghosts. This is like, uh, I can't think of a detective game. <laughs> this is a detective game plus like a persona game. Something in it might just save our lives at some point. New info was added to the spirit file. Rumors of Hanahiko Other. How do I access my stuff? Spirit file, check out from your bag. Consult if you need help. Oh, now you tell me. Saving and loading. Save at the mansion or haunts, huh? Return to the title screen from the bag to load. Then choose continue. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, first of all, let's save. Okay, not that, um... How do I save again? Bag? Wow, I have I have stats. That is so funny. Wait, hold up. How, how do I say we can? You said it. And I just blanked the hell out. A pure silver letter opener taken from the mansion's hall. A beautiful woman's face is engraved on the handle. The blade isn't sharp, but it can handle soft items. What the hell is this? Command stab with knife. Is there really fighting in this game? Oh, a spirit file. Strange rumors. Um, that's just what the girls were talking about, right? Like that for some reason. Talk to the corpse. Okay. Strange child. Never answer yes. Well, I'm in danger because he hates adults. Oh, he's got files and everything. So cool. It's like a detective game. Okay, high school student who loves the occult. She goes. Oh, she got the mark at H Elementary. It doesn't say where she goes to school. Quirky, but. Always energetic, marches to the beat of her own drum. Young boy from a prestigious private school. When in danger, his true egotistic self centered nature peeks through. Well, that's not helpful. So it's just information about them. How. Okay, I don't want to choose this because I think this just, just means go back to the menu, right? How do I. What? You oh, the save button's literally right there. God, I'm stupid. Okay, let's save. Jeez, finally. Um, okay, we talked to him, I guess. Oh, she's talking to you. Please head to H Elementary and investigate Hanahiko. Choose whether to bring Lady Moe or Lord Sugasa with you. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. And do not waste time, daughterly. It is possible unnecessary contact may haste. Okay, you already talked about this. I don't need to see this again. But, like, why would I choose one over the other, though? I feel like since we're going where she investigated, it makes sense to bring her, so I'm gonna choose her. She's so energetic. Frightened by the existence of Mark Bears who share, share the same fate. Okay, I'm pretty sure that just ends the game. Oh, oh, they have stats too! She has so much spirit power. So you probably want to pick someone to counterbalance your stuff. I mean, we're still at the beginning, so I think it's gonna be fine for now. Okay, I think that's it. So, all right, we partnered up with Moe, and then in the next video, we're gonna uh, go check out H Elementary and see what all the who has about. So, thanks again for watching this, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video.